All right, we are back with Sly 2. Uh, before we move on to Chapter 3, we got to open the vault in Chapter 2. I don't know if the acoustics will sound different on my end. I changed rooms, but we'll see. And my monitor sounds either, or my tower sounds either going to be better or worse. I doubt you'll be able to tell. Mm -hmm. What a short code. They're all three digits long. Insanity strike. You've gotten the insanity strike move. Uh, basically, it just uh, makes enemies attack each other. I figured as much. Which is not as useful as you'd think, because they have a lot of... They were not designed to attack each other. They were designed to attack you, so they whiff. It's, it's not terribly useful. Makes sense. I think I try to show it off in a little bit, but... Was he holding a heart? Yeah, he was holding the, the clockwork it heart. It took some detective oh. work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, Forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. Well, Murray's dead. <laughs> For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the Clockwork Heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight it comes home with me. So I didn't expect there to be a whole another chapter for Rajan, but is it like yeah. is it like a whole fully fledged other area? Oh yeah. So um Statistically, most of the villains in this game take two chapters to take down. I see. I want to say this might be new ground for us from last time. I don't. Yeah, I think... believe we we only got partway through chapter two before. Yeah. So yeah, um, whatever you did remember won't help you anymore. So I got a lot more use out of the stealth slide that I just bought there in this uh, playthrough than I have before. What does it do? Um, it gives you a little boost uh, that is very quiet, so you can move you can move fast without alerting people. But it's also very much dependent on uh, momentum, so you, it you only really get moving if you're going downhill. I see. But it does give you a small burst of speed at the beginning, which I use quite a bit, actually. So this is probably, if it's not my least favorite area, it's easily second least favorite. Hmm. Not only is it a pain to get around, but it's also just kind of an unpleasant feeling area. You know, a dank, unwelcoming jungle. Yeah, the lighting's not great. I mean, it, it, it works for what it's going for, but it's like, I don't want to spend any more time here than I have to. And unfortunately, it's uh, the first of several areas that uh, kind of wear you down, as I think I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. It's quite a few coins. Yeah, yeah, you get you get quite a few from getting all of the uh, world loot, but you're going to need all of them because the other abilities get very expensive very fast. Hmm. Which is why I always stop to get uh, more loot. I think I only just barely had enough by the time the game ended. Hmm. You know, with a game like this... I have to get the impression that they coded a bunch of behaviors and then had those behaviors go towards, like, a bunch of different objects that look similar. Like, 
If I had to guess, those mushrooms that we've seen are bouncy. Yeah. But it makes yeah, they've sense. Got, they've got like a standard spring uh, item. Uh, like last time it was, I think, those like uh, baskets. Right. I want to say that's either polymorphism or inheritance. I can't remember which. It's basically just putting a different uh, model onto the same object. Yeah. So you wouldn't even have to do that. It would be like the, the object would have a different uh, model parameter for it. Right. All right. I'll head for the top. Oh, there's some weird, uh, like, ghosting on Sly's head there. Ah. Uh, Emulation error. I didn't notice that when I was playing. Hmm. The loot generally gets more valuable as you go along, you know, they'll just have, uh, more valuable stuff. So right here I tried out the Insanity Strike. Hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean about the whiffing. I mean, if they can't hit you all that well, how you can't really expect them to hit each other that well either. Yeah, it's a lot of the stuff in the game is more trouble than it's worth. Like, yeah, in theory that's cool, but I can just whack them. Oh, I see. Wasn't so, sure yeah. how that thing worked, but it's like a weird little. Use the power of darkness to um, to act like it's the early 90s and shred on your inline skates. <laughs> I just think of the scene, the trope of the guy in a, what is it, button-up shirt, underwear, and socks sliding in sideways. To this day, I don't know where that's from. I'm not sure I know what that's referring to. It's like, da 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 I don't know, I'd have to look it up. I think... I think they referenced it in either the first Sonic movie or the second Sonic movie. Hmm, haven't seen either, so... Yeah. So just like in the first game where there were some rails where you could walk on and others you slide on, you got the those here. Slide Cooper. Of course, the question is, how would have anybody normally gotten to this? Uh, I mean... This is... I don't think this area was supposed to be somewhere... place you walk. Yeah. I guess they could have climbed down. What? The heart is being used to, um... Irrigate them... Uh, oh, for the water. Efficiently for the... Than, okay, that makes more yeah. sense. It and just Rajan's looks like got there's... the other half on, on him at all times. Oh. There's the entrance to this level. Only I can't figure out how to get in here from the temple's exterior. Bring those photos back to the safe house. We'll really need to think about this one. Did you lose control there at the end of that, or were you? Yeah, in yeah. When it, whenever it uh, the aspect ratio widens like that, you know the black bars come in at the top and black bottom. You don't have any control. Heck, Rajad is carrying half of it at all times. Forget it, the goods. I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajad's office while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the spice lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, he'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out. Or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. And yet we will make absolutely no attempt to cease communications until this is done. Yeah, that makes no sense. Like, I can understand if they were like, for now, let's, like, feed them false information um, about stuff. But no, they're just like, oh, we gotta do this quick before he find gets onto us. And it's like, you know that he can hear you right now, right? Yeah, that's stupid. Good thing that enemy didn't care. With that 
Yeah, I started a job and uh, everything just sort of stops. State change. Now the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Oh, this one was kind of a pain. Keep that stuff away I'm trying to me. find out where to where to go wait, for all the spice plants. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellites in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. Oh, okay. Well, now you know, we may he fight. Was still there. These spice plants remind me of the, what is it, Zootopia Night Howlers that make you go crazy. I haven't seen Zootopia in so long, I don't even remember what those looked like. Uh, I think they were like blue or black, something. Mm. All yeah, I know I is I'd... they really, really should have had like a TV series that was a buddy cop show. Because, well, I don't know, those shorts were not it. They were just a bunch of interstitial random garbage. Hmm. I don't know. Disney kind of has been... Making all the wrong choices. Yeah, they're kind of shit in the bed lately, I feel like, in a lot of ways. They haven't hit many home runs in the past ten years. Yeah. I mean, that's what happens when you try to rely on nostalgia way too much, but not deliver on it, like... I mean, heck, that Christopher Robin movie proves you can make a good live-action Disney thing if you bother to write a good story. And not just try to uh, remake an animated movie that was animated for a reason. Well, yeah. So, as you saw there, um, the, the game looking? can sometimes get confused as to... Right there, yeah. As to what you're trying to attach to with the circle button. Uh. You know, I'm trying to grab onto the thing and it keeps going down onto the rail. Yeah, context sensitive stuff like that's a pain. It's usually good about that, but some of these areas they uh, were like, yeah, let's put these two things next to each other and didn't quite do enough playtesting. I got lost here for a second and yeah. came right back to this point. Either they didn't do enough playtesting or they ignored their QA department. As is often the case. For a second there, it looked like he was taking a good whiff of that. Yeah. Touch, fuzzy, get scrumpy. <laughs> what was that, like a charge move, or did you use the smoke bomb? That was bomb? a smoke bomb. He, he didn't seem to react to it, though. It was mostly to get the other guys off my tail. Ah. Uh. This place kind of gives me a Talon Overworld vibe. Yeah, but not nearly as fun. Nah. Too much grunge. And the colors don't pop, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a jungle in a video game. What else is there to say? Well, it could be all the tack games that take place almost entirely in jungles the whole time. Hmm. Who needs other environments? Yeah, those games were weird. I only played one of them, but... It just felt like I was playing a character platformer from another universe where... I don't know, just... As time goes on, it seems like there's less and less of these kind of games. Yeah. Like, A Hat in Time is probably the closest I can think of to anything like this in a while. Well, there was Balan Wonderworld. Ah, I mean, yeah... Didn't they just announce a new one at the last, uh, like an indie one? You're joking. There's no way. That's crazy. It, it, it's a 3D, 3D platformer. No, I mean, are you saying another Balan Wonder World? No, no, not about another Balan Wonder. Oh, okay. 3D platformer. It was like indie. 
Okay, yeah, I do vaguely remember that. But yeah, I was like, a sequel to Bell and Wonder World? Do they want to go yeah, with no, turbo no, no, bankruptcy? That, that's that's never gonna happen. <laughs> like, yeah, that man. I just find it so I mean, funny with, that with uh, the main creative lead behind it possibly going to jail soon. Yeah, that that's kind of the funniest part of all. He just could not stop insider trading. No, Yuji Naka. Like, on the one hand, I think the whole concept of insider trading is silly in the first place, but on the other hand, I get why it's super illegal. So, yeah, you kind of reap what you sow there. Ha! <laughs> Oh, that's he... that's that's what you often run into in pickpocketing. They'll just suddenly stop and you run into them and they're alerted. All right. Cuz getting getting too close but not too close is pretty difficult. So this is how you get to a different job later. Yeah, I can see some something that Looks shiny to imply something. Yeah, we'll pick up with that gem later. Oh, yeah, seeing Sly get in those little water buckets earlier reminded me of one of the few times it seems like you could touch water without dying horribly. Mm. I mean, he just can't swim. Right. Satellite array. Don't need to crush them up uh, or anything. Just throw them in their hole. I well, don't that think guy's that was dead. supposed to happen. <laughs> that was pretty good. Especially the way he just kind of, not T-posed, but whatever the opposite of a ragdoll is, just statuing up. Mm-hmm. But his idle animation just kept on playing. Yep. So it seems like all that happened is that satellite's no longer rotating. Right. I what I guess because spinning means it's working. If it stops spinning, that means it's not working anymore. I Don't mean. You know? It kind of makes sense. I hated this mission as a kid. Let me get this straight. We're going to bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. <laughs> that water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools along the way to Rajan's office. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. I believe that they do not, like, uh, make much of an effort to tell you where the pools are. You just sort of have to look for the steam. Yeah. So, figuring out what path you're supposed to take can be difficult. I'm curious, though. A... How you know, like, if there's any indication of if it's getting, like, aggroed yes. or not? Yes, it, it, it starts uh, sending out red, like, radio waves off uh. of it uh, once it's unhappy. So I think we'll see that. Yeah. Yeah. And B, I'm guessing that Bentley must have either ran out of actual bugs or just thought this was too good of an idea not to pass up because this seems like a terrible idea. Okay, I know that this thing is alive and we have no way of really controlling it, but um, I, I saw a GitHub for this and I had to try it. More like a Git Grub. Okay, that was... That bad. was actually good. I like that one. I'll give you that one. Yeah, see, there you go. Like, unless, unless the office has... a. Uh, stagnant water pool it does i don't know how bentley knows that but it does <laughs> like have we seen the office before 
And how do we know that Rajan won't just, like, get rid of that bug? He's like, ew, a bug, and kills it. Yeah, like... It's, it's like, bigger than my head. I don't want this sitting in a pool in my office. Like, I don't care if it's the jungle. Yeah. Just because it sounds like a pigeon... ...doesn't mean... Oh! Huh. I never noticed he had, like, stuff under his feet. When he does the slide. Reminds me of Psychonauts. Little, uh... Yeah, like Psychic I said, power ball. of darkness. So you see those, uh, that bullhorn that guy's carrying? Yeah, that would alert people, or? Yeah, he, uh, the, the little guys, um, have the ability, if they're holding those, to, uh, call out, and that, um, aggro's enemies from really far away. Makes sense. Frankly, I've been curious why we haven't seen something like that, so it makes sense that yeah, what I expected to exist does exist. Oh, I think there's even a faster way to get from here to the upper level. You can, like, jump on a small piece of geometry to just barely make it up. Mm, I love that in games. I love or it maybe in games. I'm thinking of this part right here that I actually do. Yeah. I love it in games when it feels like you're exploiting something, but then you get games like Ukulele where you can do it everywhere and it just feels cheap. Like yeah. something about that game engine. Just little little, feels little bad. things here and there that cut out uh, parts you don't like are great, but I don't like it to be the point of the game. Well, it's, See, yeah, I'm that's not sure. Thing, I... Like, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Just not. It's it's not that it was the point as much as like this just feels lazy, lazily like implemented or something. But yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure I've ever done uh, this mission the way you're supposed to, like going around and such. Because there's another pool. Uh, on this ledge that you're supposed to go to, but I always just chump that mm. ledge there. And I believe this office is also... Yep, there's where the... The, the chest. Is. Or the safe. So, in Sly 1, Sly had a red backpack, but now I guess they thought that it would look cooler if he instead had a red, uh, shin pack. Or, leg pack. Oh, what? I've never noticed that this whole playthrough. Yeah, that's why Sly's back looks a little more bare than you're used to. Yeah, I've been so used to, I mean, in the first game, it was usually felt pretty bare, unless you had a horseshoe. Mm-hmm. Generally, Bentley's items aren't terribly useful either, although the, there are a couple that are indispensable. That's the thing, like, out of a dozen uh, abilities for each character, there's like two or maybe three that get actual usage. Mm. A lot of them are cool, but it's like, eh, do I really need this? So, here's the other thing about the Binocucom. Um it's actually, you control which direction you're looking with the left stick, not the right stick. Hmm, that's annoying. And then you use the right stick to zoom in and out, and so, like, okay, it's... The Binoculum controls are not inverted on this, because I that's one of the things you can change. Mm -hmm. That kind of throws me off even more, because the only time you're ever controlling a crosshair with a left stick in modern games is if you're flying a plane where pressing forward does cause it to go down. So it's like a, a remake of these games should definitely move Binoculum controls to the right stick, and maybe have the D-pad's control zooming, because the D-pad doesn't do anything in, in this game. Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole... I feel like this was the era where um, developers didn't really realize they could do other things with the D-pad and just sort of considered it to be a backup to the uh, to the left analog stick in case people didn't want to use it. Yeah, it's kind of weird how, like, I look at the, um... I look at the Switch, like, with Mario... <coughs> excuse me, Mario Odyssey... And, uh, like, I feel like that game has triple bindings for everything, but, yeah. So, I just gotta say, the Indian watermelon thing feels, like, extremely contrived. Eat the watermelon, go to sleep. I mean, a lot of these missions, they're like, what would be a fun concept for a mission to have you do it? 
how do we justify it? And the way you justify it is typically pretty flimsy. It's just... I, I mean, we just planted a bug in a guy's office. Yeah, I mean... Shame that he only stays asleep long enough. You could have just grabbed all three Bentley, but nah. But yeah, this feels yeah. like... Imagine if, um... I don't know, say... Like, I don't know, Kingpin from Marvel. You had a game where you had to do a similar thing. It's like, oh... How are we gonna how are we gonna get that thing off his person? We'll just drop an entire bag of Doritos and he'll eat it and then fall I don't know, just <laughs> It's very cartoony, but uh this is a very cartoony game, so it doesn't matter. Mm hmm As you can imagine, the biggest problem in this is if you accidentally target geometry right in front of your face. Oh yeah, that could be bad. Which is why I like a um targeting reticule that like kind of laser pens its way onto the ground so you actually know where you're pointing yeah this one's pretty awkward and I think I forgot what you're supposed to do which is to get up to a, a location over here so you don't have to like, blind fire over um, geometry that's as high as you. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed you're making this work. Yeah, th there's some tricks that you're like, okay, next for next playthrough, I gotta remember this, and then the next playthrough so many years later that you forget them all, and then you do it, and you're like, oh, wait a second, I think I I knew how to do this before. Just yeah. Forgot. Usually, if that happens, I, like, redo the mission just to because I want to do it different because it's, you know, been a while. It's a good thing Rashad is as blind as, well, anything I've ever seen. Rajan. Oh, Rajan. My bad. But still, mm -hmm. like, I can't believe he didn't see you just then. <laughs> he did, actually. He reacted. Oh. But apparently he didn't. He uh, he stopped caring as soon as I went up in this tree. Nice. It's kind of like, arc well, once again, Batman games. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be now fair. Now he's all the way over there. Cats are farsighted, so... Which reminds me, did I feed my cat? Yeah, I fed my cat. Yep, oh, like that. Yep, there it is. Fortunately, he has... Uh, uh, he's very attention deficit, so as soon as he hears mm -hmm. a new funny sound, he goes straight to that. Nice. I didn't realize he could use the bouncy mushrooms as well. That's kind of handy. Yeah. Reminds me in some games where you have to lead someone, but they can't, like, jump or go off a ledge. So leading them is a lot more painful than just if you were to take the same route yourself. Yeah. Well, at least he's getting a lot of fiber. Do watermelons have fiber? Of course. They're pretty much nothing but fiber, water, and sugar. Huh, okay. Blueprints! They have been stolen! That's the complete set of blueprints. I like that he only Great noticed blueprint. once all three were really gone. The hang of this. Yeah. I will only freak out once all three of them have been stolen. One or two, that's fine. I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. You know, Bentley, to get his you could have just cart, murked we'll him once he was out. That's you true. Right there. Bentley has no qualms against murder, temper, as we know. I'd recommend yes. making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple. In an so we spooked him, out. and so now our solution is to piss work, him off. I've made yeah. arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. 
If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape. Effectively bringing it to us. Alright, so that is about it for this part. We'll uh, be setting up for our big job against Rajan uh, next time. See you later.